How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. This is Mr. Banoom. And in this lesson, we're going to be going over the area. Area, as you can see on the board, is just the amount of squares that can fit in a shape and a space inside. All right? So that's always something to remember. We don't want to confuse it with perimeter. Now, there's a formula for finding area, but let's not focus on the formula until the end. All right? So, finding the amount of squares that can fit into a shape. If I have, and usually we work with rectangles, sometimes we may not, but we first want to start with rectangles. Let's say we have an array, three rows and three columns. Uh, let's do three rows and four columns, or three times four. So that's three rows. One, two, three, and then we have four columns. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is a three by four. I'll write it in words. Three by four, or three times four, and the array looks like this. And we know that the total amount of squares. I know they're not squares, but take it easy on them. It would be 12 square units. Because we don't know what the units are. I didn't measure them. They're not all perfect. It's not centimeters, yards, or anything. So 12 square units. Okay? Boom. Sometimes you might see a shape that looks like this. It looks like a rectangle again. Okay? cool but you may not have the squares on the inside to actually count them up to find the area but you might know the length and the width and this is where that formula comes together so area equals length times width which is the same as rows times columns. Same thing, but length times width is more specific when we're trying to find area. All right? So let's say over here we have five and over here we have eight. I can make five rows and then make eight columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or I can do something quicker. I'm just multiplying the rows times columns. So five times eight. And instead of drawing all those squares, I would already know five times eight, the rows times the columns, or the length times the width, and I'll get. 40 square units. Remember, because it's area, our answer is going to have square something. It could be square centimeters, square units, square something. All right. Um, another example I want to show you is sometimes you might see something that looks like this, where it is incomplete. It only gives you a little bit of the information. As you can see, this rectangle is supposed to be completed, but it's not. But we have enough information. We have the length and we have the width. Check it out. One, one, two, three, four. Length is four. One, two, three, four, five, six. The width is six. So like I said, Rows times columns, or length times width, 4 times 6 would be 24 square units. So we're making sure that we have that square units, because we don't know the specifics. And we don't even have to draw out the rest. We have enough information by knowing the length and the width. 
rows and columns, and we can just multiply it out. So this is really how we find the area of rectangles. And remember, squares are rectangles also. Okay, just remember that. So make sure that you have this down. All right. See you in the next video. Have a great one. Peace.